my lovelies and we're now on to tutorial number two for the cuckoo clock showcase for um tonic and um i'm now going to talk about the, the the cuckoo clock and putting that together because we did this one didn't we i've i've carried on sort of i've, I've done a little bit more decoration on there so you can just see you can really go to town with that you know with all the beautiful ivy and you know they've got lovely little flowers in there there we go lovely little flowers in there and I've just used the hearts from the window uh, you get where are we these these parts just in the flowers so yes so we did a little bird house with that one and don't worry I will show you how to make the boxes if you don't have the other dice right so let's move on to the cuckoo clock okay before I go ahead and assemble this, I just want to show you the mechanism for the actual, um, we've got our little chimes here, haven't we? These are your, your chimes, or you can have bells, okay? You can make little bells out of them. I've put the, the little stag on there. Ooh, little birdies falling over. I will show you the other ones that I have made as well. Right, so in this die okay let's get you a piece of card i'll stand up for this in this set you get the panels at the side now can you see on those panels there we go two little tiny sort of these are the your indentations now what can you see that yes you can okay so you will get this piece in your die set where are we get this piece it's got two little two little slits in there now your die will go in between these two that's that's how it sits so once you've cut this out okay you then get two little indentations which I shall now show you right so those are your two pieces and you get two indentations I'm going to try and bring this right up can you yes you can see these little these little things just here you see those that's where you're placing your dies to get these two slits right and the purpose of of the clock or, or, or the die set to, how to, to to make them is you would push see the slots here after you have erected the house so you have to erect the house first the same way we did it i'm going to do one now the same way we did it in the first tutorial then once you get to the end I just want to show you because we're not going to do it that way because I'm sure there'll be lots of other people you know other members of the design team that that would be doing it this way okay you then can you see so that would slot in like that so it's fixed and then you would push this down okay because it's got little notches you'd push that down and stick that down and then you would have let's just put the two in so you can see you would have your two fixed like so they would be fixed so they wouldn't move and then obviously when your clock hangs you see like so that that would be fixed so you would just bend these over and glue the tabs down right now like I say, I have not done it. I want to, wanted them to swing, okay? But I just wanted to show you that that is how you would do that. And I'm sure possibly one of the other design team will show you that. Now, I have done this with mine, okay? Not, not great, not very neat but, um, rectangles, but I have done this with mine. In fact, it's probably better showing you without that. So can you see my marks where I've gone and yes you can you can see the indentation of the die so what I've done is I've used the middle one as marker I don't want to come to you that's better I've used the middle one as a marker this one so that's our first one and then I've put two more outside of it okay I have two more outside I've also made sure that I've measured a centimeter in on this side centimeter in on this side and a centimeter in on this side and that is because of this part that sticks to the bottom of the box so yes you can get three on there which will give you six hanging parts and all I did was I took the slit I will extend this tutorial once 
once it is launched I'll extend it for you but all I did was take the slits and just slit another line sort of about I would say three mils and then cut a, a little rectangle out of all six of them yeah right I will I'll extend it right okay so let's get cracking with this right so with this one it's fixed on the wall so you are not so for one of the sides you don't have to decorate them because you're fixing this one on the wall okay you're gonna pop it on so the beauty with that putting them on the wall is you don't have to decorate one side right if you're going to have it hanging so if you were to make a a little you know hole at the top here and you were going to have it as a hanging ornament then obviously you'd want to decorate the back but for a wall clock you don't have to so we're not decorating that side now as you can see I have decorated inside the box all will become apparent in a minute but look I've got the lovely I think it's like a fur I think that's like a fur in there and then we've got the stag and the little birdie so I've decorated inside the box right okay so let's take our panels now I'm going to use wet wet glue and we're going to assemble assemble this um, as we would but <laughs> I am going to take off this one first because we don't need we do not need this you own, remember you're only going to need one so you can cut off we? here we go you can cut off one of those pieces right because you don't need it that can go but keep this okay keep those pieces obviously you're not going to cut two holes in that one so you have a nice flat piece right okay so let's start assembling our our house again okay our, our clock i keep calling it a house but there are you know do you know what i'm, I'm i haven't stopped playing with this since I got it so the last oh, three days I just couldn't put this set down there is so much in here it, I mean it, it's ridiculous the amount of dyes you're getting in this set it really is and they can be used for so many more so much more projects I've backed um in fact I'm gonna have to really push that down I've used um acetate okay because we're going to see through this and I've just had a thought now <laughs> I've used acetate so it's going to take us a little bit longer with the gluing process because we're gluing onto acetate okay so then we're going to take our next piece and we're going to pop it on I've totally forgotten all about that as well because with the acetate when you put it in there you you do have to you do have to go over it you, you could you could cut that down a little bit thinner if you wanted to okay you could and it would probably help but it will it will stick even with the acetate on there it's just it takes a little bit longer and you really want to leave it to dry okay so we're making a clock with this one and I've gone a little bit different yet again but I just really wanted to assemble this and show you how we're making these hang I mean I think it's pretty obvious going to be difficult for you to see but can you see they do they do move you can't can you see just can you see those they're just moving it's difficult to show you but they, they're moving so we've done a little uh, a little clock there they're moving and even on this one because I've done a few I haven't put the roof on this one yet but this one moves okay we've done a little bell on here but I just wanted to show you you don't actually have to fix it onto the wall in order for the bells to move do you, do you see what I mean you can make the bells move if you wanted to make them fixed I actually I have to say I prefer them fixed than I do um, on the wall I, I just think they look because visually do, do you see what I mean I'm just waiting for these two to dry let's let's bring this other one in first and then I, i'll show you but i just find that you can use all those the beautiful fur I, i'm calling it fur because I, I think it is a like a fir tree 
sort of branch or plant. Um, just me bring that in. I just think it looks so pretty, you know, to really use all of these beautiful elements you get, you know, the flowers, because you can you can put quite a bit on the house, obviously, can't you? You can put quite a bit on there, but when you extend it, it you can just you can really use all those dyes. Like I said, I haven't stopped playing about with this. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. And um, I generally see so we just need some more time with this one. Maybe I should have used. Maybe I should have used tape. I think I should have really used tape with this. So yes, when you're going on to the acetate, okay, use tape. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait for it to to dry. <laughs> as I am now, but I can I can explain some other bits. So this time round, okay, because before I'm just keeping uh, pressure down on there. Before I hadn't. Do you remember I forgot to cut my piece off? So you only you do only need two. Now bear in mind if you're going to do this way where you're going to have them hanging and swinging, you are going to have to cover up at least this part of the of the um, clock. Now before I put the actual clock in, I wanted to show you because I'm doing. Can you see? You see, I've made a little insert. So I. I bought a little bird, okay? I think it's a dove really, but it's Christmas. I made a little box for it to stand on using the glitter. So I made a box and I actually ended up using some pure sheen glitter. It's the olive green I used, because I had that in my stash to just sort of make it all glittery because the bird's glittery, right? <coughs> Excuse me, and all I did, because what I'm doing is I'm covering up this mechanism that we're going to do right at the bottom. You all will become apparent, but you need two of these. So you'll get one of those that will come off. It's this part. OK, you'll, you'll get one of those that will come off, you know, your, your project because you have to take it off here. So you just need two of those. And all I've done is popped one on top of the other. Do you see? So we've got our two flaps here. Yeah. So it's just giving us a, a little, uh, like a lift from the bottom to, to hide that. If you are going to do a house like this, okay, where it's completely non-see-through, it won't make a difference. You won't have to do that. Okay. You can just you you won't see the mechanisms in there of how we're putting these in, but it's just because. I've done a see-through one, okay? But if you're doing one without that's not see-through, you will not have to do this this part, okay? It's not essential. You can just put your decorations, well, no, you can't. If you, if you put it this way, maybe just your first run, don't do it see-through, because then you won't have to worry about this part, but all will become apparent at the end. Right, let's see how we are for it being stuck. Let's move that out of the way and just see how we are. Because we, we really do need these really in place and really firm before we go ahead with this. I'm going to quickly just put some tape on that edge, okay? Because we don't want that problem again with the drying. But yes, you can make them hang. And all we're basically doing with these is we're using little tiny foam tape. And then a little, I'll show you. Just wanted to put some tape on there and just some tape on here. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever, aren't we? We don't want to be here forever. And it just makes it a little bit drier. Oh, who's seen some of these? lovely uh, die sets that tonic are bringing out of late they, they really are aren't they they're bringing out some uh, amazing different die sets we've got so much choice now haven't we i think we all know when it is now but they've got a new memory book well it's it's coming out on friday it, it will already be out by the time this by the time you know I, I post this so you would have known already anyway but um think I'm gonna I'm just looking at these and yes I am going to put some tape on here as well but all we're using 
is these realm phone tabs okay so it's quite simple uh, just using round phone, phone tabs it's um there is a piece in here i know it's I'm, I'm sort of speeding ahead there is a there is a piece in here which is i think it's a window which you could reinforce so you could cut it into the bottom and then reinforce it back i shouldn't really tell you this until i've shown you the other piece first so let's let's not confuse you but you could cut it out reinforce it and use that and it would look much neater so these obviously look a little if you can cut out a nice rectangle really neatly, it's not going to matter too much. You're not going to see completely underneath. But this piece, you can you see this piece. You could cut that piece out from underneath, reinforce it back up. It, it might prove to be a little bit difficult because it's so thin on the outside. Um, but you could have them in a... Do you see what I mean? You could have four... But can you see that's that's what we're going to do with it can you see that is what we're going to do with it and that is going to make it swing <laughs> right okay i think we're there now sorry i just i just had to wait for that to, to really dry in okay now we're not going to have that problem because i have stuck tape on okay so remember we're bringing this over okay we're bringing this over to meet its edge and I'm just being careful now because obviously I've put tape on here so I've got to be very careful with where I'm positioning right with my little pokey tool here we go okay I think that was where it was wasn't it was over this side right so we're back to this point again okay now just before i go ahead you're going to see what i mean so this is going to sit just got to make sure it's the right way yeah so this because we've already done it is going to sit up here and fit in the bottom okay just like that and i'm just thinking maybe i should I think I'm going to. We're going to do that first. Okay, this is why I haven't put the clock in because I really wanted you to see that, right? So I hadn't previously done it like that. I'd done it a completely different way. But I think because I now have got my slits cut, we shall put that in. So if you wanted, you know, to decorate this, this is going to cover, like I say, the bottom part. It's not essential that you do this, but it just makes again for a much much neater finish okay so to show you i am going in ooh, here we go i'm going in along this edge first okay let's just bring that up and out the way so i'm lining this part and it will go in so a bit wobbly because we haven't got that we're lining this part up with this edge okay can you see that i'll show you in a minute we're just lining that up quite neatly okay I'm pushing that on uh, can you see just along here just pushing that onto there and then again on this side and it's going to actually help your box sorry i'm just having to bring it in I've, I've got my new glasses now so i can see much better i was struggling so badly without my glasses okay so there we go and i've just stuck it on the wrong way around <laughs> can i get it off I can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can see. Well, listen, we've got a bird going that way instead. <laughs> the bird was supposed to go the other way. Okay. Can you see that? Look, you can see little birdie in there, but he's the wrong way round. <laughs> Make sure. And now I'm just checking that we're going to be able to pop this in. 
I think I should think it won't matter too much. I can cut that down a bit. I'll have to cut that down a bit. But yes, my lovelies, do make sure you put Birdie in the right way round. <laughs> Never mind, you get the point. Birdie was supposed to be sitting this way, facing the front, but Birdie is now sitting at the side, okay? But we've got all that, do you see what I mean? We've got that lovely decoration, um, which you can see in there. So, so don't worry too much about that. So that's life. Some you win. <laughs> I lose. That is why I don't use tape. Okay, that is a real prime example, ladies and gents, of not using tape. Because had we have used wet glue, we could have got that completely out and put in the right way. Okay, now we cannot. All right, so you will put yours in the right way. I think that's so funny. Little birdie didn't want to go that way. He's not interested <laughs> in all the attention. <laughs> little birdie is being ignorant and <laughs> doesn't want to be, doesn't want to cuckoo out the clock. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to leave that um, open now because I was going to put the clock in, but I, I think, lucky I didn't put the clock in, right? So we're going to go in okay and then just line our box up okay <laughs> oh how funny and now i can't get in there we have to do it that way okay wasn't the best of ideas putting birdie in the wrong way <laughs> sorry that's so funny <laughs> well listen at least you'll know not what to do he looks actually quite content there. I think I'm going to leave the clock off. I was going to put it in, but I think we'll leave little birdie to it. Right, let's just bring it in our tabs, okay? Let's let's bring them in now. Line them up and push them together, okay? I'm just being very careful because I know that I've now got uh, tape. And this, sorry, I'm just going to have to... Bring this a little bit this way because I've, I've got tape and this is card that's just going to stick to it straight away. It's not going to, it's not going to be any um, leeway with that one. So, okay. I mean, look, he looks, he looks really cute in there anyway, doesn't he? Look, we can still see little. <laughs> He's got his little seat. <laughs> we can't see much of the decoration at the back now, but. <laughs> Right, um, let's put the roof on, okay? Let's let's go ahead and put the roof on. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, just don't do that. <laughs> don't put him in, but do you know what? Now I'm looking at it, he looks really pretty. He looks really lovely there, doesn't he? Right, let's let's get a wriggle on with this, okay? So we're going to put the roof on. You'll be happy to know I've put tape in because you you want to see me. Let's face it, you want to see how these are going to swing, don't you? That's you want to see how to do it. I, I'm sure probably one of the other design team as well have, have maybe come up with it. The one thing I I couldn't do, I've got to move on to another project now, but. The one thing I actually couldn't do, which I would have loved to have done, is the handbags. If I get time, I'll try and quickly get one done. And then what I might have to do is I may have to... Um, let's just pop that on. I may have to come back when these are launched and do a tutorial for the handbags because I just don't think I'm going to have time. I've got one. I've got another project. <laughs> Keep saying I've got another one, but I have got another project to do. So I'm not going to unfortunately have time to do them. But I will probably. Um, I will, well, not probably. I will come back and we'll do the handbags because you can get lovely little favours out of these as well. Okay, right. We're coming in with the roof. We're coming in with the roof, okay. Just popping that on. We should be nice and stuck now. Um, right, so we're, we're nearly there. Let's leave the top part of the roof for the second and let's bring these bits in because these are the bits you want to see, right? So 
we have all our chimes, okay? All our little chimes. Now, here we go. Make sure you know which side. That's fine, just put a pressure on there. Remember, we can't get into it because we've now got our underneath, which is going to hide all these workings, okay? Just, just see what I mean. Now you understand why you need this bit in here to, to cover that if it's see-through. Remember, you don't need it if it's not see-through. Okay, so let's make sure we do this right. So that's our front, okay? And we want our chimes dangling down here. So I think I'm gonna go back first because that will be easier. So you decide, I think I'm going to have two chimes now you just get can you see right can you see you get a little you get these little notches there's one little tiny notch just at the top that's where you're sticking your pads okay your little buds right so these are if you're interested uh five mils okay they're five mil um sticky buds round sticky buds and all we're doing i'm going to have to turn it around this way is we are sticking one at the back but really bring it to the top really bring that bud right to the top okay so that it sticks quite neatly onto the other one okay there we go and then bring your second bud over again, keeping it very flush to the top. Don't, you only want to do one. You don't want to do two. You only, do you understand? You only want to do one of the notches. Don't come any further down. So just stay with that one little round at the top. Don't start coming any further down here with your buds because you know, you're, you're squeezing a lot in as it is. So you don't want to come down far with your buds, right? So again, another one. I'm just thinking whether maybe I could have done these just a little bit more. No, they're going to be fine. They're going to be fine. You, you can go quite long with these, not too long, with your slits, I mean, okay? With your slits, you can go fairly long. It doesn't matter. They're, they're still going to... Do you see what I mean? With your... You can't see it that way. I'll show you afterwards. But with your slits, you can you can go a little bit longer on these. They they are just a tad too short. A tad. I I say a tad. I mean a tad. Right. Let's just have a look and see if these are going to fit in. These might be a bit squished, but hey ho, I think they're going to look fine. Right. So let's speed this up a little bit now. So again, another bud, and then another bud. And make sure you get some nice sticky ones and just sticking them up to the top. Remember, nobody is going to see your inner workings, right? Because they're all covered. And if you stress it again, if you don't do a see-through one and complicate your life, then um, you don't have to do this, you know, with the platform. But this is just a little bit more of a, you know, to show you. And then once you've got this, you see what I mean? Once you've got the principles of this, how it works, you can do it, you know, on the other ones, on the stands as well, and really make them. I'm just showing it. I know it's just looking at the camera. I know it's a bit difficult to see, but you can, you can see it a little bit, can't you? And then sticking over the top. It's a bit fiddly. Now I've got my glasses on though, it's not so bad. I went and picked up my new glasses the other day. Oh, I was so excited. I've got, got bad eyes close up. So now I can see much better. Right, so that's our final one. Now you don't have to do six. I've really gone overboard. I've gone ridiculously overboard on this. You don't have to do six. Let's bring you down. Come on. There we go. So can you see? There you go. You've got all the little buds. Can you hear that? You can just see them wobbling underneath. Uh, 
it's very difficult to show you actually because it's at the side I would have to show you from the side maybe I'll do that okay so now I have to just readjust this one a little bit I think on this side oh no I don't okay brilliant right so all you do now is you take your little tape off that side we're going glue on this side try not to push that tab down too much okay because it will it will adhere to the top much much better and then on this side because we do need that stuck in just run your finger you don't want loads of glue spurting out on this side okay so run your finger down that side and there we go uh, right so we're just going to bring this over remember that one we don't want too far down just making sure that's straight on that edge and then in we come just got to pinch that down a bit because there's that little bit of top so I'm just aware that there's that oh, come on and stuff is that little bit here so we've just got to get past that there we go we just had to get past that piece of acetate right you won't have that problem and then just give that a good bit of pressure okay on, on that side and this side right got a bit of glue there all right one side is completely stuck down with tape and glue right so you've got all your little workings there you don't have to move them all they're going to be stuck to each other right okay so although difficult to see you get the picture okay these are now swingers okay look at those they swing and they they're perfectly neat 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 and tidy because we used Remember, I just followed the, the pattern. Where is it? I just followed the pattern. So we, we put off first. That's where it slots in. You've got your two little marks. I followed that. So I made my middle one and then I went out making sure that each side had, had a centimetre. Okay, just to sort of recap that. Let's show you the birdie. Okay. So that is little birdie and our lovely little, it's very difficult to, to see, but you will see them once I photograph them. And I'm sure in the studio, you can just see them wobbling, but that's how, look at little birdie. <laughs> you can, if you wanted to, I, I might put it there. It's just such a shame because... I mean, we can really see little birdie, but you've got the option of popping your little clock in there because actually it's much better that way because I have done little birdie on here. Can you see little birdie? Yes, you can see little birdie poking his little head straight. But because we had that little, that little tiny gap here that we had to bring up to hide the chimes, the workings to make them move, he just sits a little bit too high, but that's little birdie facing that way. But I actually, there you go, I actually think little birdie facing this way is better. Because you get, and little birdie was from that cheap shop that, that is one pound. But just see what you mean, you can, you, can have, you can see in there. It might have actually been nice. Do you know what, my lovelies? It might have been nice to have had this completely acetate. You could have, you, you would have had to do something at the sides to kind of cover up the joins, but you could do these completely acetate. Do you see what I mean? And they do make lovely little bird boxes as well. You know, they do. And then you can see them. Obviously we've, we've kept that theme going at the side and then you can see little birdie you see a little birdie at the side as well but there we go so that's how you make your 
that's how you make them so that they dangle right so all we've got to do now let's just have a look and see oh we're, we're just okay for time i'm going to pop this on right then all we've got to do is just pop you can either these are so light if you want to pop them up over your wall then you can just pop a little bit of tape on the back of there and i really like the frames and just pop it up with a bit of tape honestly they're so light if not you can always put a little tab I, I think i'll probably make a little tab to put at the back there but there we go so that is how there you go you can just see there we go you can you can see that they're all moving about and it does it looks so pretty so there we go so that's my second tutorial i've just realized i've just got to pop that on haven't i so so i will pop that one on and we'll pop the roof on and then that one is our cuckoo clock with our dangling i've got a lovely little dangling pieces here and then just to show you the, this i know it's so difficult to to see i'll just show you some of the other ones I, i'm going to send them all in <coughs> there we go you you can do that with the other ones so all i've done is put a hole in the bottom of that box and that swings <coughs> so that's movable the same with these i've just you know with this one i've used a, a thinner stand obviously you can it's quite clear to see so that I could put these little um, sort of chimes at the front and the back so you could still have it fixed rather than on the wall not fixed but on a stand rather than on the wall and these will still move um, and then obviously you've got the lovely little wall one which moves as well so that's a nice little array of of the um, cuckoo clock showcase piece which will be available on the Tonic website. Um, I will drop the link in the box. Thank you so much for watching. I have had so much fun playing about with this set. I, I cannot tell you. And I know you will have so much fun too. So again, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next tutorial. Take care. Bye.